Aloha. On today's food guide, Hawaiian food. I went to find some of the best Hawaiian food here in the Dallas area. Catch a wave. Enough about me and more about this food. Aloha, welcome back to the channel. I'm your food guy and your food guide. And we're here at our first location, l l Hawaiian Barbecue. l l Hawaiian Barbecue is actually a Honolulu-based Hawaiian food joint. In the 1950s, they were a Hawaiian dairy joint, l l Dairy. But in the 70s, they branched out and started serving food. This is the only location in DFW here in Plano, Texas. And what better place to get Hawaiian barbecue than at a Honolulu-based Hawaiian spot? And we got our plate lunches. For those of y'all who don't know, plate lunch is Hawaiian food staple. Choice of meat. Two scoops of rice, mac salad, how to get some masubi. Is this like a, a rice sandwich with seaweed and ori? Also got some Hawaiian ramen, Simon if you will. Also got our Hawaiian sons. Never had Hawaiian sun. Subtle. Beautiful thing about like Hawaiian food is that it takes inspiration from so many cultures. Portuguese sausage that we're having with our masubi. The Chinese like monopua. They got so many different, you know, inspirations for the food. So regardless, the food's gonna be delicious. So this is the Lao Lao pork and the Kahlua pork. Two scoops of rice, mac salad, of course. It's a big box, it's heavy. This is the seafood. You got tempura shrimp, calamari, rice, mac salad. Got our saimin, which is basically Hawaiian ramen. I think the difference is, say, the noodles and maybe the broth, and of course, the masubi. First things first, this one caught my eye. Portuguese sauce. Looks like Spam. Never had Portuguese sausage. Gotta say it, uh, the word mahalo. Mm. I've had Portuguese sausage before. I'll happily put Portuguese sausage in my mouth again. Wish I could fit more of it. This is interesting. I don't know if I like it better than the spam masubi, but my personal favorite chicken katsu wrapped perfectly in the nori. Mm. Chicken breaded beautifully. It's like a sweet glaze on there. Really crunchy. Man, love the chicken katsu masubi. And of course, lao lao pork. Kalua pork, Kalua pork's my favorite. So the lao lao is wrapped in the taro. It gives it like a sweet taste. And you get that beautiful. So you gotta unwrap the taro leaves. You got the Kalua pork, slow roasted pork. You know, you think of like pigs turning on the slow roaster, that's pretty much that. Well, not the best looking color. Let's see if it's tender. Oh man, I'm digging that. That has a nice taste. The lao just like soaked into the pork. It's delicious. Love Kalua pork. Dang, they're popping. Kalua pork, tender. Nice hit of flavor. With the rice, you'll get full. Man, I've been a big fan of mac salad, guys, but we do it for the culture. Hmm, not bad, not my favorite, though. I used to not like mac salad at all. It's kind of like giving me coleslaw vibes, and I don't like coleslaw like that. The lao lao pork, it's got such a heavy aroma. I got to a fatty part of the pork. A1, man, this cool little pork is amazing. The swine is fine. So we got the seafood, tempura style, shrimp, calamari. I love fish sticks in my mouth. It's fried perfectly. The breading so far has been A1 on the chicken katsu, all the fish, shrimp, tempura. Crunchy. Yeah, that breading is sweet on that shrimp. We got the Hawaiian barbecue Simon. Beef broth, see the beef tips. We got the noodles. The broth looks a little thin, more like a soup. It's like wheat noodles. This place is jumping, guys. Just open at 11, y'all can see it all behind me. It just goes to show this could be the very best place to get Hawaiian food here in Dallas. Mm, the noodles are lighter. Like ramen noodles are very thick, in my opinion, when you chew them. These are very soft. And the broth itself, is, it's light. It's light, it's more like a soup. I know traditionally, like, Simon's more like shrimp based. And they had tempura style shrimp, Simon, but I didn't want that, I wanted some beef. Man, yo, this Simon, Simon's actually slapping. And they have other flavors too. They have Spam Simon, they have different masubis. They got burgers here. They had a teriyaki burger. If I had more room, I'd definitely try it. Yo, this is Simon, that's a bomb. Man, there's like so many places to get Hawaiian food, guys. You can find a ton of Hawaiian food. There's even a place in Arlington called Halo Hawaiian that has great pokey. If you're in that area, I recommend y'all check that out. But l and Barbecue, I am full. The Simon, the masubi, the plate lunches to die for, but we got another Hawaiian barbecue spot we're gonna go to, guys, to get some more Hawaiian delicacies and cuisine. Enough about me, and more about this food. My apologies, guys. We had an audio issue filming at our second location, and most of the audio is pretty much unusable. I will integrate some parts, but for the most part, it's gonna be a voiceover. But anyway, our second location. All right, guys, we are here at Aloha Barbecue on Lemon here in Dallas. They actually have a second location in El Paso, so El Paso people, check game. They offer more or less the same menus, plate lunches. They got Spam burgers, burgers. We got some lumpia. They also have butter mochi. They got different Aloha drinks. They got canned coffee. What's funny about this is my first time ever having like Hawaiian 
food was a place called Aloha Barbecue in Lubbock, Texas. So I was checking to see if this place is uh, close. More or less, we're getting some items we didn't get at l and Had to get Spam Musubi, got to get some Loco Moco. As for the butter mochi, which, man, the butter mochi, guys. I saw it, the cashier, she upsold me. She was super sweet. Glad I tried it. It looks like a cornbread cake and it does have that grainy texture, but the chewy mochi on the inside, super buttery, super delicious, guys. Like, oh my goodness. If you go to Aloha, get the butter mochi, guys. Oh, that was just so amazing. Like, whew. Anyways, for the food. Where to begin? We got so much food today. Ah, oh, yes. Loco Moco. Oh. Hamburger patties, rice. You got the mac salad, fried egg. Mr. Number five. Never had lumpia before. I think it's what? It's fried spring rolls. Filipino fried spring rolls. Oh, this is the banana one. That smells sweet. Spam masubi. For the Loco Moco. Gotta split the egg. Patty cuts nice. Love brown gravy, love rice. Never had Loco Moco before, which is crazy. I love brown gravy, the patty cooked perfectly, the rice soaking in the gravy, the yolk busted perfectly, it's just spilling on the inside. Eggs, rice, and burger patty and gravy. What an awesome combo. For Hawaii, it's a U.S. Naval Station base. People would just come up with these crazy ideas. This is like a Hawaiian staple, personified. Whoever came up with this, you, sir, are a legend. Also got some lumpia. So lumpia is basically a fried spring roll, the Philippines. We got a banana and then we got their savory lumpia. Their savory one was good, but Aloha has their Aloha sauce. And they got two other sauces, but the Aloha sauce, whew, that's like their all purpose sauce, man. I'll take it home and use it in bed, guys. It is that good. Dip the lumpia in there. Mm. Lumpia, spam masubi, guys. What is spam? Is it like, what is it, like mystery meat? I have no qualms against Spam. It's just so salty. It brings me back to my childhood. I remember like my grandma, you know, Spam and eggs in the morning. Not my favorite masubi, the chicken katsu. It's definitely the best. They got Aloha drinks. It's instead of Hawaiian sun. I actually liked it a lot better. They also run lunch specials from 11 to two. We caught it in time. So we got their barbecue chicken and barbecue beef plate lunch. It was only $10, good value guys. Well, I'm not a big fan of Mac salad. The Mac salad at Aloha barbecue. I liked it a lot better than l and Mac salad here at Aloha. The barbecue beef, super savory, tender beef. Mm. I didn't mention it at l and You add the mac salad with the rice and the meats and combine them all together, it makes a combo wombo of deliciousness. It is the true essence of a plate lunch. It was so delicious. As for the chicken, the chicken was cooked perfectly, but it lacked a little bit of flavor, but that's what that Aloha sauce is for. It was just so good. The Loco Moco is like, man, I mean, this is it's my first time having it, but shh. The Loco Moco was so good. The perfect culmination of the savory foods that I love to eat. Hamburger patties smothered with gravy and the fried egg. The food was uh, the Hawaiian term, ono. Oh ono oh is oh yes, but ono oh in Hawaii means tasty food, delicious food, and man, it was so good. It's probably my favorite thing I had today on the Hawaiian food guide. Uh, for the banana lumpia, it was really sweet. It had a nice honey glaze on it. Both the lumpias, the crunch was just like perfect, not too oily. God damn, it was good. I honestly preferred Aloha barbecue over l l but both had great, delicious food. You can't really miss with either location, guys. I mentioned it earlier with other Hawaiian food chains, but Hawaiian Bros serves a pineapple soft serve that is my favorite. I had to go there and get some. It was just a perfect day for Hawaiian food. Thank y'all for voting. If you made this part of the video, thank you for watching this voiceover, guys. I really do apologize. I got a new audio jack. There should be no future audio problems, but if y'all like this kind of content, food content, or just like your boy, subscribe to the channel, drop a like, comment, share, guys. I really do appreciate it. I don't know when my next video is going to be. The rest of the year, my schedule is going to be kind of wishy-washy, but I really do appreciate every single one of y'all. As always, I'm your food guy and the food guide. Enough about me and more about this food. Peace.